Hey everyone, welcome back to Reverse Engineered. In today's episode, we'll start wrapping the driver's side in satin black, and then we're gonna move on to the harder side, which is the middle. We're gonna have to do the half and half with the yellow and the black. And then we have some parts here for the Ford F-150 that we're gonna turn into a Raptor. This is a OEM fender for the passenger side. Here we have a grill looking really good. You also have a hood over there in the back in the boxes. Let's get started. Right now we're doing the same thing we did on the passenger side. We're gonna unroll the roll and start cutting out for the quarter panel as well as the pole pillars and the doors. So we don't waste any wrap. We're gonna optimize it as much as possible. There's John on the other side. Lay out the car, put the magnets in. Put uh, the magnets in. Cutting. Come cut it over here. They're behind the wrap right there, yeah. Here's the piece that we're going to be using for the skirt or the rocker panel, whatever it's called. It's like a scroll, uh, we're rolling it from both sides. <laughs> oh, scroll, show us written what, what brand shall we wrap the car in? Avery, Avery <laughs> it is. Avery satin black, that's the scroll of wisdom. <laughs> <coughs> okay, now let's cut for the doors. John, get over here and shake her door and for the gaps. Bro! Yeah. Then he left us. Let's check again to see if we get a pair of doors. Good. Get on that side. Oh man, you got a lot here on this side.
we're done wrapping the doors. The last piece to do is do an inlay over here on the inside of it. So you can't see any blue when sunlight hits before you move on the quarter panel. Let's get that done next. Sound it makes it satisfying.
The driver's side, cannot wait to see how this car's gonna look for you, man. Here, let's measure this and cut it. We're going old school. This is what we're using to measure the fender so we can cut the vinyl for. Here, John. You gotta help me on the other side. I haven't used this in such a long time. This much. How much? Let's cut it. Let's cut it. A new lane in the back? Uh, let's cut it at 42 and a half. It's really easy, man. I mean, once you lay it over. You lay in the back? 42 and a half. No, man. 43. 43 inches by. Just 43, 45. Here, you left it on the roof. <laughs> Here, do it again and don't move your hands. And someone else is gonna pop up with their head. Nah, that's good. Hold it, John. We have finished wrapping the entire driver's side minus the rocker panel. We've also finished right now the fender. Come closer, we wrapped all the way here to the inside edge. So from here to here, it's just one piece all together with the fender. We also wrapped it here on this side in between the fender and the door. So it looks really good. Now we have to start moving and splitting the car down the middle and uh, wrap it. But before we do that, we have to remove this antenna here. Also the wing, we also got a few badges here on the back of the trunk that we have to remove. We got to remove this emblem here, the badge, this emblem here, and also fix this area right here and uh, sand it down with 400 grit paper. Once we get that done, we can start finally completing this car and I cannot wait to see how it's going to look and I'm pretty sure it's going to look amazing. So let's get it done. This is how you find out what you need under when you don't have enough space to look with your own eyes. So you can there it is. That looks like a 10 millimeter. Ah. Yeah, then it's out here. This emblem is going on the wall. Of fame. Wall of fame, that's what John said. Place it here for now and uh, we'll find a place for it later on. In order to find where the center of the car is, we used the laser on the wrap and we used several points in the car that look like they're in the middle of it already. Like over here, you can see this line for the windshield as well as the cut line in the headliner and the antenna hole lines up in the center from the front to the back and now we're going to use some markers a mark i'm going to put mark uh mark lines yeah with the marker to show so we know where to put the knifeless tape so it lines up as good as possible in the middle we do the same thing on the hood Maybe one on the top, in the middle, and the bottom so we can line it up nicely so it comes out as a straight line as possible. in the second line so that we're gonna cut the excess material off you'll see how it's done give me the knife boy give me the knife give me the boy
make that into a uh, vinyl ball and let's play a snowball fight with vinyl. Oh man, that hit my head. <laughs> Marcus Daniela. 80. Got it. Where's he? Right just over here. You got the snake thing? No. Put a mark with your nail. Good. Hopefully we're not gonna cut it. Hopefully we're not gonna cut it here. That's the mark I made. <laughs> Here goes the roofing. Operation roofing. Put it over a little. Just right like two, two and a half inches, three here. Put it back a little more. Got it, good. The sloppy. Okay, come here. I'll put that there. Snipey. Put another one in the front. Here's the snete. Snete. Then you get over here on this side so we can hold it once it cuts it. Let's go, Broski. Daniel, put the hood down. Have we, did we cut that piece yet for the right side? And no, we don't have it. We so saved it for the side screw. Let's go and chop one and get that done. We've made a lot of progress so far and the wrap looks awesome. But we still have to wrap this front bumper, rear bumper. The front bumper is gonna require a little bit more work as we have to do a few inlays. And uh, we wanna start wrapping this trunk here. But before we do that, I wanna ask you guys what you think of, of this logo that we put here. In my opinion, it looks amazing. And uh, we also put another one here on this other side and uh, write down in the comment below what you guys think about it. For the trunk here, we've done the same procedure we've done for the roof and the hood. We have split this in half with the laser line and we applied here knifeless tape. And we are going to apply it all the way here. As you can see, you can still see the laser line right here 
on the trunk and the bumper. Once we get that done, we can start wrap it. And I cannot wait to see how this entire thing is gonna look.